Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew Dean. Welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven Family. The portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 12, verse 14, from the Amplified Translation, and it reads as follows. A man will be satisfied with good from the fruit of his words, and the deeds of a man's hands will return to him as a harvest. Family, the contemporary English version says that we are rewarded and punished for what we say and what we do. And isn't this so true, family? We will reap a harvest from the seeds that we sow. If we sow good seeds, we will reap a good harvest. If we sow bad seeds, we will reap a harvest of bad things in our lives, family. So when bad things are going on in our lives, it's not because God is being ugly and spiteful and trying to punish us for our bad actions. God is a God of love, family, and he doesn't punish us. When we are going through these times, it's more likely the result of our own actions and our own words the bad seeds that we have sown have opened a door to allow this attack to come into our lives, family. So we need to choose our words carefully. Yesterday, we also spoke about the word, our words, and the Bible speaks explicitly about the power of our words. The Bible says that life and death lie in the power of the tongue, and we will have the eat the fruits of what we say, family. And the Bible also says that we will be held accountable for every idle word that we speak. Every word that we speak will be held accountable for it, family. And the, the universal principle of seed, time, and harvest applies in everything that we say and what we do. When we do things and when we Say things, say things, we're sowing seeds, family, and it's just a matter of time before we reap a harvest of those seeds. So when we sow good seeds, it's just a matter of time before we reap a good harvest. And when we sow bad seeds, we, it's just a matter of time before we reap a bad harvest in our lives, family. So we need to choose our words carefully and we need to watch our actions as well carefully because our actions are also sowing seeds into the world around us. In conversations, they say the words that we say only forms a small percentage of what we're actually saying. And our body language forms a large percentage of that as well. It's one thing to say this, but if our body language is pointing in the opposite direction, family, what are we truly saying? What is truly going on in our hearts at the end of the day, family? We need to make sure that our words and our actions line up. And we need to make sure that our words and our actions line up with God's word and good actions and good words, speaking good seeds and sowing good seeds of action into the world around us, family. And when we do this, family, we will reap a good harvest in our lives. As it says there, we will be satisfied with good from the fruit that we sow. When we sow good seed, we will be satisfied with the fruit of the good harvest that we'll reap from those good seeds that we've sown through our words. And it says there, and the deeds of a man's hands will return to him as harvest. As we go about using our hands, using our skills, using our ability, using our lives as a tool and as a platform and as a way for God to work in us and through us into the world world around us, family, we will be rewarded with a great harvest of the work of our hands. When we go to work and we, we do a good job at our work, family, we reap a good harvest. We we get paid at the end of the day and we don't lose our jobs because we've been slacking or we don't get demoted and all these kinds of things. Because we're doing good, we're working hard and we will consequently reap a harvest. And it's the same, family, when we do good for the Lord, we will reap a harvest of goodness from Him in our lives, family. God is good. He's good all the time and He wants to impart His goodness. He wants to impart His blessings to us family and when we are saying and doing negative things we hinder those blessings and his goodness coming into our lives but when we are saying good things when we're speaking the word of God in faith and when we are doing good things with our hands and with our words and with our works and to the world around us when we are being his light family we will reap a harvest of his goodness we will reap a harvest of his blessings in our lives and I know that each and every one of us want his goodness and his blessings in our lives so I want to encourage you going forward to be the person that chooses your actions and chooses your words carefully to speak good to do good so that you can reap a harvest of it that you can be satisfied with the fruit of the seeds that you have sown by being good family and we must try to avoid saying bad things and doing bad things and when we do the if we do these things if we slip up and make a mistake we must be quick to repent family we must cut off those seeds before they have a chance to take root and start growing and reap a harvest in our lives family thank you family i hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you and given you some valuable food for thought and before i end i'd just like to close in prayer Father God, we come to you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for this day that this is the day that you've made and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for your word and the advice and the promises that are given to us in your word. Lord, I pray, Lord, for each and every single person listening, myself included, Lord, that you will help us to watch our words, Lord, to choose our words carefully, Lord, to sow good seeds through the words that we speak, Lord, and to perform good actions through our hands and through our actions into the world around us, Lord, to be your hands, your feet, and your mouth, Lord, to be a blessing to those around us, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that as we do these things, Lord, that you will, that we will enjoy the fruit of the seeds that we have sown, Lord, that we will be fully satisfied, Lord, that your blessings and your goodness will come into our lives, Lord, and we will reap a harvest of goodness in our lives because of our good words and our good actions. And we give you alone all the praise, the glory, and the adoration 
appreciation for all that you're busy doing and accomplishing in us, through us, and for us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to spread this message and share it with your friends and family on social media so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the contents of the video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every Monday to Friday at 7 a.m. Central African time on my Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watch this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watch this message and felt blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry, I'd like to encourage you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our Snapscan QR code. And lastly, I would just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless. Yeah, 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 yeah.